hey guys what's up welcome in and welcome back to my channel today in the lab i'm going to be doing a test on a new powder that i'm so excited to try it is the laura mercier uh translucent powder in the shade honey Let me make sure i'm right yes in the shade honey so i'm going to be testing this out comparing it to the original shade that i have which is the translucent as well as um possibly trying out the, the glow one but we'll get into all of that so if you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button if you are into beauty products, um, reviews, beauty tutorials, makeup tutorials, and just lifestyle type videos. That is what we do here on my channel. And if you are Odie but a goodie, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see my thoughts on this powder. And let's go ahead and jump into the video. All these products that I'm gonna be using today, you can de definitely purchase from Sephora. If I don't mention it, then you can't get it from Sephora. So. I just went ahead and did my brows off camera to save some time for uh, moisturizer because I just washed my face before I did this. For moisturizer, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake um, moisturizer and it looks like this. I love this stuff. I try to not to use it too much because she is pretty pricey, but it looks like this, like a yellow uh, moisturizer and a little bit goes a long way. This stuff really does hydrate the skin, giving the skin like a glow. It has pineapple in it. Um, and it doesn't have, it has a slight like fresh scent to it, but nothing too strong where it's like, if you have, uh, if you're sensitive to smells, then you can't use it. It's really, really mild and really soft. But for a primer, I'm going to go in with the Ole Henderson Banana Bright Face Primer. This has vitamin C and banana in it. So I talked about this here on my channel before. This is one of my favorite primers. Comment down below if you want me to do a video where I'm telling you guys my favorite makeup products or uh, foundations. A lot of what I'm using in this video is actually a few of my favorites. So I'll be sure to link everything down below or list it down below in the description box so you guys can check it out. But this right here gives you your face a really good glow and it has vitamin C in it. So if you're not going outside as much or getting um, enough sun this can definitely help out and boost the skin for foundation staying on the La Mercier uh, bandwagon with today's video I'm gonna be going in I was indecisive of the two but when I swatched them the La Mercier flawless La Mer radiance perfecting foundation that is one of my favorites this one is actually a little too light because this is my winter shade or I use that shade in the winter so I'm gonna go in with the La Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation it looks like this and this one's a satin a uh, satin matte finish the other one is a radiance finish but this is in the shade uh 5w1 amber and i'll put it here on the screen but i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this one both of these foundations are super lightweight on the skin i did do a video on these i will link them in the cards up here or in the description box below but don't be alarmed by this shade i'm just gonna fix it with concealer as we we would have to do with a lot of foundations i have <laughs> in my collection but this foundation is truly a flawless uh foundation and i really do like how it goes on on the skin um i haven't went to change my color in this particular uh foundation but um, i usually make this color work for concealer today i do not have a laura mercier concealer which is so crazy to me like i love laura mercier products so this i'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I have it in two shades, Warm Beige and Golden Beige. So I'm probably just gonna mix the two. Um, this is Golden Beige. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit, but while this is drying a little bit, I'll talk about this product. So the La Mercier Translucent Powder is a staple, girl. Like, that's been my favorite translucent setting powder of all times. Like I said, I have the original one. I also have the glow one. So if you're looking for a translucent powder that has a little glow to it, definitely check out the La Mercier and I'll swatch the glow, the glow one. I typically wear this on my like no makeup makeup type look days. It just still gives you um, a glow, like a natural glow. I even use it as highlighter sometimes. Um, they do have it in uh, medium deep. They have the glow one in medium deep as well. Just so you'll see the difference, this is the translucent one and this is the glow one. You won't really see the glow, I don't think, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but you, you may not see the glow offhand, but when you wear it and you put it up on those high bones of the cheek, girl, it is definitely a glow. So I'm, in, I'm just excited to see 
what this honey one is gonna look like. So, oh, it has like a little more like a banana to it. Okay, let's see. Now, I like my under eye to be a little bit bright. I picked up the small one, by the way, because I didn't know how I was gonna like this. Yeah, this is definitely like a, a ooh. It's definitely like a banana color. I hope you guys can see that. I don't want to spill it out, but it's definitely like a banana yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer. All right, so concealer is blended out. Now we're going to go into honey. So I'm going to put honey on my right side, and I'm going to do the translucent on my left side just so that we can compare. And I'll um, go in with the highlighter one as a, I said the highlighter one, the glow one as a, like a highlighter. All right, so... Taking one side of the sponge, going in with honey. And what I do is I tap off the excess on my hand. Speaking of hand, this is what the honey is looking like swatched, kind of swatched. But I'm gonna go ahead and press that into the skin and all over my eye. This looks really good. However, it's not as bright. Like if I wanted to use this to use, like to set all over my face, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, then I can definitely use this. So let me go ahead and use the other side of my sponge and set the other side with the translucent. I probably could mix the two and get a great combo as well. But this powder is so flawless. The reason that I like it so much is because it's so soft and finely milled that it really does dissolve in the skin without looking all chunky and um, it really just gives you an airbrush look. I will tell you guys though that the La Mercier powder is not for baking. You will possibly see a flash um, if you're using too much powder and allowing it to bake there for a long period of time. So um, I will keep that in mind if you are like, oh no, that one gave me flash, flash in my pictures. Be mindful of that when setting with this powder. It is not meant for baking, it's a setting powder. So keep that in mind. So this is the difference. I put honey on this side, translucent on this side. You guys let me know if you see a difference. I don't really see a difference yet. Um, but like I said, I do tell offhand that the honey is not as bright as the translucent. So I can use honey. I could actually use honey as an all over powder, which I am about to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face in those areas I would use honey also as like an everyday type of setting if I didn't want to look too uh, like I'm doing too much on my on my under eye like for my everyday looks I could use honey and I'm gonna go in with the glow as highlighter since we're just keeping it simple I'm just focusing on the powders for bronzer I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, Sephora spice market blush palette and that palette looks like this i talk about this palette a lot and i'll show you guys this palette everything in here is amazing so if you're looking for like a blush a highlighter even eyeshadows this whole palette you can do so much with so that's why i always pull this out when i'm trying to do something really really quick so i'm going to take this shade here and bronze i'm just going to go ahead and talk through the rest of this video but comment down below if you tried the new la mercier uh translucent powder the original one or if you're interested in the honey one let me know it's as far as like feel it still feels the same really lightweight on the skin i don't feel like oh the translucent one feels different or the honey one feels um better or different from the original it's still um similar formula to me it feel, they both they all feel really finely milled like i said which is why it's one of my top uh translucent powders it blends into your skin really, really well. I'm actually gonna take the bronzer and put that on my eyelid as well. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna put that all over the eyelid. So I'm just mixing the orange and the bronze shade and putting that in the eye. The crease all over the eyelid and dragging it up. And I'm gonna put this little rose gold. I'm just gonna put this rose gold in on the, on the eye as well, on the lid, just to give it a little bit of oomph. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and then come back and finish the face. All right, lashes on. I'm gonna go back into the palette, the Sephora palette, and I'm gonna take that white, this little white shade. It looks white, but it, it actually goes on like a champagne. I'm gonna just place that in the inner corner. 
just to brighten up the eye a bit. This powder is still looking good, y'all. Like, so I knew if Laura Mercier wasn't gonna let me down, but I just wanna let you guys know about this shade. She did come out with this new shade, and I'm actually really liking the honey. I don't know if it's the translucent or if it's the foundation, but just know that when you pair these products together, it looks really good, but I do see that the honey side gives more of a, like, yellow undertone which i'm really really liking and then this one is just giving you translucent so for blush going into the same sephora palette i'm going to take this orange shade and this uh peachy shade or actually i'm going to go in with this that i put on my lid so for lipstick i just went in with the mac lipstick in the shade mull it over and we're going to go in with the la mercier glow powder in the shade translucent now like i said all of these shades do come in the medium deep um so if you're a deeper skin tone you can certainly try these out if you haven't already but look at that it's just such a glow like i said i like the glow one because i could use it as a highlighter like um sometimes i drag it under the eye like this and it just really gives me a glow but Yes, that is what this is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Frisali Rose Gold Skin Setting Spray. And guys, I would have to say I actually like the Honey one. I do still like my original Translucent. This is what everything is looking like with the foundation and all of my makeup products. Both sides look amazing. So I can get away with either or. Like I said, it all depends on the makeup look that I'm going for. If I'm going for a more subtle under eye, then I would do the honey. If I'm going for like bright, then I would do translucent. So I would say test it out if you are a deeper skin tone to me as well. Test out the honey and see if that's a brightener, like a brightening effect that you want. Or you can stick to the medium deep that it comes in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed showing you guys this product. And let me know down below if you are interested in uh, the Laura Mercier translucent powders. If you tried it before, if you haven't. Um, no matter the shade, just let me know down below and let's chop it up in the comment section. And until next time, love, peace, and beauty. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.